Hello, Doom Tubers. It's me. It's me. Doom Waves. It's me. I'm here. I'm here. Here for the pickup video that you've all been waiting for. The January and February super ultra not massive pickup video. It's starting right now. <coughs> I probably mentioned it in the last video. I didn't get a lot. I didn't, I didn't do it. I didn't do a lot. I didn't, didn't. I didn't do a lot in the last two months because I did a whole lot in December. That is the reason. Well, not the only reason, but the big reason was because I did so much then. For one, it wasn't necessary to do much more in January or February. And for two, it just wasn't altogether possible. So, yeah. A lot less. It all fits on my lap nicely. Because it's all right here. Um, except for the digital pickups, which I always forget. So, what I did this time was I made a list on ye oldy tablet um actually i made it on my email and emailed it to myself so i could have it on ye oldy tablet and uh, this includes uh, some digital things that i bought even before christmas like during the steam holiday sale that i that i know i forgot to talk about or i'm pretty sure i forgot to talk about so if i'm doubling up here i'm sorry I'm gonna say them again just for conversation's sake <clears throat> so on Steam, we picked up Bit Trip, Bit Trip Runner. Uh, something about that game just looked really, really interesting, and I'm pretty sure um, the Bit Trip games, a lot of them are also on like the Wii and the 3DS, maybe. Um, and I'd like to pick those up at some point. But Bit Trip Runner is just you're a character running from the left side of the screen to the right side of the screen, jumping over, sliding under and different obstacles and things like that. It's like super addicting. It's pretty fun. And if you die, you start over at the very beginning of the level. <coughs> which gets frustrating if you keep dying in the same place towards the end of the level, which has happened to me numerous, numerous times. But that was on the Steam sale for really, really cheap. So I grabbed that. also grabbed uh, the first Half-Life on Steam because I really wanted to play uh, the first Half-Life on PC. Um, don't know why. I just uh, I think that I would enjoy it on PC. I have it on the PlayStation 2, but uh, yeah, I want to play it on PC. So I grabbed that. It was just like four bucks, something like that. Also grabbed Heretic Shadow of the Serpent Riders, which is actually like the expansion uh, pack, almost like a sequel, but not quite, uh, because it like doubles the length of the original Heretic um, on PC. So I got that. Uh, Hexen, Death Kings of the Dark Citadel, same deal for but for Hexen, like it just it's basically Hexen, but more Hexen. Like it's it, this actually is more of a sequel uh, because it in and of itself doesn't include um, the original Hexen game. Like you actually had to buy Hexen uh, in order in order for Steam to allow you to buy uh, Death Kings of the Dark Citadel. You had to have it on your computer already. <coughs> on Steam, <clears throat> which I didn't, and so instead of trying to find a backward backdoor way to do it, I just said, you know what, it's like four dollars, so I'll go ahead and buy another copy of Hexen through Steam, uh, so I can uh, buy and play Death Kings of the Dark Citadel. Now, one thing I did have to do uh, for this, for both ha uh, Heretic and Hexen, was because they are a, a lot older games, a lot older PC games. The the game itself doesn't allow like a lot of control options, uh, like mouse aim and stuff like that. So you can't do the WASD and then mouse aim. You had to do uh, uh, control uh, buttons, and then you know map you know shoot as like control or something like that. So it's like that's the way I used to play first person shooters on PC all the time. But I can't stand it anymore. Um, I'm I've got a lot better with mouse and keyboard, with the WASD. So that's what I have to do now because <laughs> I can't 
I can't revert back to it now the old way. It just it just doesn't work. My brain has already kind of forgotten how to do that, if that makes sense. So what I ended up having to do was uh, you had to let go into the program files, or, you know, go into the the game files, and uh, replace the DOSBox emulator within the uh, Steam boot um, the boot menu for the game with another program that allows that. So you you replace this DOSBox with this other program and then name this program DOSBox, uh, and then Steam will recognize it as DOSBox even though it's not. It's this other thing that allows you to uh, map the key, key mouse and keyboard exactly how you want, which is absolutely perfect. And also grabbed Wizardry 6, 7, and 8. Uh, this was actually before the Steam sale, like a couple of weeks, I'm pretty sure. Uh, this was, you know, mid-December maybe, and uh, they were really cheap. I think I got all three of them in a bundle for like $2 and some change or something like that. Um, really only wanted Wizardry 8. Uh, I think 6 and 7 are going to be a little bit too haggard for me right now because I've never played a Wizardry game. Wizardry game. But uh, I hear really good things about 8. And uh, I want to I, I play them all eventually, but uh, 8 was kind of where I was headed. Uh, and 8 by itself was like a dollar something, but if I bought the bundle, I got all three for like less than $3. So it, it made sense. And that was all the Steam games. Now here is my the PSN games I got, <coughs> not including... Um, not including uh, PS Plus games, because, you know, you could just just assume that I got all the PS Plus games. Um, we did get, uh, during the that weekend sale where they gave everybody, like, a free month of PS Plus and 10% uh, off of any, any purchase in the store for that weekend only as a way of saying sorry for being offline on Christmas, uh, I did pick up Mortal Kombat Arcade Collection, I didn't have a ton of money, but I was like, yeah, I want to take advantage of this just because. So 10% off, you know, it was like a $10 game or something like that. So I got it for like 9 bucks, something like that, um, which is cool. It's uh, Mortal, the arcade versions of Mortal Kombat 1 and 2 and then Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, which is pretty cool. So we got those. And then just a couple weekends ago, um, they had a flash sale in, also in conjunction with an, another... Um, SNK sale that was going on with a, just a ton of fighting games for the SNK and for the uh, the Flash sale. There was a bunch of Capcom games, so I did grab uh, Samurai Showdown for like four dollars. Uh, Capcom versus SNK two for just a few bucks. Uh, Street Fighter Alpha three, which actually is a PS one classic, so I can play it on the Vita too, which is cool. Uh, Street uh, Super Street Fighter two Turbo Remix, which is a mouthful to say, but it's a pretty cool game. It's basically uh, an HD Street Fighter 2 um, that you can actually play online and stuff too, so it's pretty cool. Uh, and it was just a couple bucks. And then Virtual Fighter 5, the final showdown. I had Virtual Fighter 5 already, but this is like the the uh, more complete version of the game, and I'm pretty sure you can actually play online with it too, so that's cool. And then uh, Samurai Showdown, you can actually play online too, so that's uh, that's the digital pickups uh, that I got. Lots of lots of good uh, fighting games during that sale. I'm pretty excited. I haven't I haven't even played them all yet. I still haven't touched uh, Final Showdown, and I just barely touched uh, Samurai Showdown. But I have played a, a quite a bit of uh, Alpha Three <coughs> and uh, HD Super Turbo HD Remix, and those are pretty awesome. I played just a little bit of Capcom vs. SNK 2. Uh, that game is really, really good. Uh, I really wish that that one had online functionality uh, so I could play with uh, whoever, you know, pr primarily TG Epileus because he's my, my online fighting game buddy. Uh, but really anyone who would have it who would want to play. But uh, So, yeah, if you hit me up, if you want to play fighting games online because that, that's cool. <laughs> okay, that's it for the digital pickups. Uh, a couple of movies here, real quick. Uh, these are no these are nothing fancy. One of them I haven't even taken out of the little uh, cardboard sleeve. A disc only copy of True Grit. Uh, this is actually the uh, the uh, Jeff Bridges uh, one. The remake it cost me a dollar ninety five at the, the the Dollar General, so that's pretty cool. A used disc only. I know it's kind of lame to buy movies disc only, but Really, I don't care too much. I have like a binder with a bunch of loose DVDs in it anyway. 
It's like, whatever. It's uh, two dollars for uh, a movie that I I know is good. Um, I know it is good. I know it's worth two bucks. So, got it. And the other one was uh, I don't want to say it was an impulse buy. Uh, we just wanted to buy a movie uh, to watch, and I don't know. I don't know why we didn't just like think, oh well, let's just red box. Because, you know, we do have a red box semi close. It's about it's the next town over. It's like like fifteen miles away. So I mean it's like it wouldn't be a huge deal to have to like take the red box movie back, but it's just like we got lazy and it's like, you know what, let's just buy a movie. So we spent twenty five bucks and bought as above, so below. This is a pretty pretty uh pretty creepy movie. It's it's uh, filmed shaky cam style a la Cloverfield or uh, Blair Witch Project. But uh, I thought it was like pretty good at a lot of places. You know, pretty <coughs> pretty freaky in some, t- in some areas. Um, all in all, though, I think the movie is pretty okay. It's good, but uh, certainly not worth uh, my 25 bucks that I paid for it. But uh, whatever. I'll keep it. <laughs> Just because what, what else am I going to do? Okay, now the game stuff. Not a lot here. Sorry that there's nothing super uber epic here. Um, the first thing I got here was a PS3 uh, component cable. Bought this on uh, Amazon for like three bucks, something like that. <coughs> and I bought this so that I could uh, plug my PS3 into my uh, capture device that Haas is letting me use uh, that I've had in my house forever. Uh, it's the one I use to record the uh, Street Fighter gameplay, so like last year. Um, but I had to give his component cable back. And my PS3 doesn't have a a dedicated uh, component cable. I have a, a composite, which is the RCA, whatever, red, white, yellow. And then I have HDMI, but I didn't have one of these. My PS3, or excuse me, PS2 has one that is component, but it shares the same cord. It's one of the split ones with the original Xbox. So I didn't want to have to move uh, the cords back and forth. So uh, for a quick $3, I can do some PS3 capture if I want to. So I want to do some some Street Fighter at some point, which is uh, primarily why I made the purchase. I uh, did a trade uh, with a gentleman on a Facebook group that I'm a part of, Nerdtopia. Uh, power to the Nerdtopians. Uh, we made a trade that netted me a copy of Dragon Warrior 3 for the NES. I'm, I was pretty excited to get this. I used to have a copy, and I, I had to get rid of it because it had some value and I needed some cash a while back, and I wasn't really ready to play it yet anyway, and I, dude have, I did have the uh, Game Boy uh, Color version in hand anyway, so it was like, okay, I can part with uh, my Dragon Warrior 3 on NES and with hopes of, of getting it back in the future and a really decent trade and I ended up cart for cart ended up with a Dragon Warrior 3 so thank you to uh, Mr. Jose from Nertopia for that I'm not sure if you watched this video but there, there it was so thank you okay next up we did <laughs> Uh, I already had this game. This is actually a, a double dip, uh, but I have it on Xbox 360 and it's <clears throat> digital. And I just I like the game, but I just wasn't grasping it. And then so I put it down for a long time, and um, ended up having to delete it off the hard drive to to make space for something else. I know I can re-download it and that'll be fine, but. Um, I really, in, in retrospect, I really think that the controller, the 360 controller, is really kind of holding me back for this game specifically, and that is Dark Souls. So I did rebuy Dark Souls on the PlayStation 3. It was like, I don't know, like 13 bucks at GameStop, something like that. Really, really affordable uh, way to get this game. And uh, yeah, there's there's lots of uh, Souls hype going around like that right now. And I've always been a... Uh, a silent kind of fan of the game just because I hadn't really played them a lot. So I don't really have a lot to say about it. Um, but I do really enjoy watching people play. Um, and like I said, from what I played on 360, I do like the game. But uh, I thought I'd go ahead and grab a physical copy 
for the PlayStation 3 while I was out and about, so I did so. Last game here, uh, the one that everybody bought lately, and <laughs> nothing special. I did just get the standard version of The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask 3D, and I wanted to get this, and I'm glad that I did. I pre-ordered it. Uh, but really, the only reason that I pre-ordered it when I did, I pre-ordered it pretty early on. It's like not too long after it came available, because I Whitney had found a six-dollar off coupon from Newegg or something like that. I don't know. I don't remember where she got it from. So I got this for like thirty-three dollars uh, with free shipping. So it was like, all right, save a little money, go ahead and pre-order it now, and I don't regret it. Uh, <clears throat> I do want to play the game. I'm going to leave it sealed for now, um, but you know, because I'm not in any rush to play it, because I still have to beat Ocarina of Time. And I know it's not you know required that I beat Ocarina of Time before I play Majora's Mask. I just want to. I just I would like to uh, play Ocarina of Time. And I don't know from everything that I've ever watched about Majora's Mask and Ocarina of Time, I think that I'll like this game better. I don't know why. I have no idea why. I think that I have no real basis to make that assumption. I just, I don't know, it, it looks better. I don't know. I don't know. So, I'm looking forward to playing Majora's Mask, because, once again, I did not experience it in its day, and I would much rather play it on the 3DS anyway. So, this is why I waited this long, so I could just play it on the 3DS. <coughs> okay, that was the last game, but this is the last item. Something that I, I didn't think that I would be wanting to buy, and I just bought this like two days ago. Got two two day shipping. Some of you may know uh, from my last video. If you watched the uh, Final Fantasy X video, I impl I I did start Final Fantasy X two <coughs> against everything that I've ever said about the game. I decided to go ahead and start playing it again, and I don't I don't hate the game. I, I do not hate 10-2. There, I said it. I said it. Maybe maybe I will grow to hate it. I don't know. The game is goofy. It's weird. It has not a whole lot to do with the original game. And it, the combat is a lot of fun. The combat is fun. But it doesn't make sense. I don't know. It, to me, it doesn't make sense. I, I realize they're allowed to make changes and make the combat different if they want to. But to me, it doesn't really make sense that the combat is drastically different than the combat of the first game. I can understand changing mechanics and making the combat better, easier, whatever, more optimized, whatever. But this combat is completely different. It's a different kind of a game. And there's like a, like a monster hunting, like not hunting, but like collecting kind of thing you can actually like recruit monsters and have them fight with you so like there's like shocking amounts of similarities between the combat of this game and Nino Kuni which is the other game that I'm playing it's weird it's weird so that said it is definitely the type of game that you need a strategy guide because there's like things that you can climb up on and you don't know that there's no like indication that you can climb up there so I bought the 10-2 strategy guide, just the original uh, version of the strategy guide, not not the uh, HD uh, remaster uh, strategy guide that just came out with uh, with those games last year, because this was like four dollars on Amazon uh, with free shipping because I'm a Prime member. So I was like, eh, let's go ahead and get the original. That's fine because I have the original uh, 10 strategy guide also. So now I have a matching set. 10 and 10 to <laughs> original strategy guys. This one's a lot better shape than mine though, uh, than my 10 one. But this this is a bigger strategy guide. Um, I don't know. I'm a little freaked out about the game itself and like what I'm getting myself into. <sighs> You're basically like I, I don't I don't want to make this a discussion, but. Yuna and crew are basically like treasure hunters now. Like you're you're going to different parts of of uh, Spira looking for spheres because Yuna got a clue that Titus or Titus, if you're American, might be alive still. So she is now set out to find clues and hopefully end up finding him. But 
the gameplay like is set up so weird and you revisit all of these different places in Spira and all kinds of different emotions are flowing through you if you're a big fan of Final Fantasy X because it's just like it's just weird like to go to the Xanarkin ruins you know where in the game so many like emotional big things happen at Xanarkin and now it's like there's it's a tourist attraction there's people running around everywhere kids running around playing and like people selling treasure chests and souvenirs and and you meet a bunch of people from final fantasy 10 and it's just like it takes this whole somber place this very desolate um place and it creates like a like a circus like a, a tourist attraction so it's like it's just weird <laughs> it's just it's weird, and there's other things in the game like that too. But uh, that's you know that's that's I'm not very far. I'm about three hours in the game, but did buy the strategy guide because there I don't want to miss like out on like some sweet loot. So there you go. Uh, that's my pickups for uh, January and February of 2015. Sorry uh, that it was a uh, kind of a lighter load, but uh, quality, quality is what we're going for on this channel. So. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for other videos, hopefully more frequently than I have been in the, the first months of uh, 2015. Hopefully. I don't know. Whatever. Who cares? No one. All right. Talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Bye. Doomed Waves out.